Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to thank all the new subscribers that's come to my channel, and I welcome you, and please leave comments, like, and subscribe, um, and give my video a thumbs up, and share, <clears throat> sorry, um, my face looks so poofy, um, The allergies has really been, oh my gosh. And see, I live out in the country and on five acres. And the allergies has really kicked my butt. So, <laughs> yeah, it's been crazy. But then the last couple of days, I have I've had migraines. And my face is really swollen from the headaches and you can tell I just had a cold, allergies, just all together. Um, yesterday I didn't post, I was going to, um, yesterday I didn't post, I was at my mom's house, we had Easter. Oh, happy late Easter everybody, sorry, you know. <laughs> I, I, I try to do videos as much as I can. It's just my life is so busy. And I've got so much going on that it, it's just, you know, a lot of times I just don't have time to do it. Or I'm too tired or something. I'm just really exhausted. But since I've been away from Dollar General, um, the stress has been less, and I'm not exhausted, um, I'm glad I'm away from there, but I'm fixing to start a new job, and it's just, you know, my body's tired, and yesterday, I went to my mom's, and we had Easter, with my grandbabies, um, my daughter was there, um, now, my other daughter wasn't there, but she had a birthday yesterday, and so, she turned 28, and my son is 29, he's fixing to hit 30, they grow up so fast, they grow up so fast. My grandbabies, you know, I love joy and watching them. My parents are sick. And I just don't know how much. They're keeping the baby. And I just don't know how much longer my mom can do it. She's in a wheelchair. My daughter, my, my youngest daughter's like, she just don't care. My dad is on his last leg. He's very bad. Um... He may not be here next year. So I'm kind of trying to spend as much time as I can with him. Um, he's just, his health, his heart. <clears throat> and I don't know if I've really talked about it in my videos, but I don't know if you know about the, the, the Widowmaker. It's in your heart. It's the main artery. And it's 100% blocked. And when that's blocked, you can't have no kind of surgeries done whatsoever. And he needs tons of them. And one of his kidneys is gone. His body is shutting down. His body is literally shutting down. And, um, he's only got 20% left of his kidney. Um, I'm surprised they only, when they told him at the hospital, he only had three months to live. I'm surprised he's lived this long. Um, but his body is just shutting down. It really is. And my mom she's got dementia and she's not doing anything to help it um she's trying to keep him alive and i told my mom i said look you know he's tired 
He is literally tired. His body's tired. He wants to go. Um, he don't want to go to the hot doctor anymore. Um, he's just, you know, let me go in peace. And he's got to take care of my mom. And I'm just thinking, you know, I, I, I try to go into town as much as I can, but I think I need to start going a lot more often and going over there and help taking care of her. And that's probably what I need to do to relieve some of the stress off of him. But he is so stubborn that he won't let you do nothing. So, I think what I'm going to start doing is going over there during the day and just helping out with whatever. I might have to go over there and help because, you know, they can't do it by themselves. And he's been getting really dizzy a lot and it's not vertigo. And there's just a lot going on with him. And my youngest daughter doesn't seem to, you know, I told her, I said, look, my mom can't take care of that baby anymore. You know, I guess she was like, well, I'm just trying to let her take care of him as much as she can, you know, before she, I was like, Jasmine, it's coming to that. You know, grandpa can't, he, he's, his body is going down. How much more can he go? I mean, if he laid there, he probably would go, you know, he would probably stop taking his medicine, you know, the, the medicine's not helping him, I'm like, dad, you know, do what you need to do, your body's tired, don't go to the doctor, because what is it doing, nothing, they, they can't save you, and I tried to tell my mom, I'm like, mom, you, you know, you are running him to the ground. And she thinks she ain't got dementia, but she does. She really does. And I'm afraid she, she'll probably end up going into a home. Because I know I, I can't take care of her. I can't take care of her anymore. Um, now, I took care of my boyfriend's mom for two years. And I hurt my back. And, and I hurt my back by lifting her. And I told him, I said, here's two choices. Either you put her in the nursing home or she's going bed bound. I said, because I can't lift on her anymore. And I'm like, you're at work. So, you know, therefore, you know, it's like, okay, what do you do? So, you know, I am just really, my body is exhausted and I don't know, I may not be able to go back to work because I may have to help my parents. You know, that's how it goes. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's crazy. And, you know, Charlie's going to have to understand, hey, I got to take care of my mom, my dad, and I'm going to have to start going over there and I'm going to have to stop, I'm going to have to start taking care of them. And that's what I'm going to have to do. And, you know, it's like I sew when I can. If I don't, it's okay. It's still going to be there. And, you know, like I'm off today. I'm supposed to go to orientation on Thursday. And when I get out of there, I'm going to go by there and I'm going to help take care of them. Um, Wednesday, I'm going to go in. I'm going to be like, you know, I'm going to have to take care of them. I'm going to have to go and help. There's just no, I'm going to have to. My dad is running down. 
and I'm going to have to help take care of my mom. That's just, and me and my mom, we don't get along. Her Alzheimer's. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. I probably won't have my dad next year, you know. But anyway, I, you know, that's just a little something that's been going on. Um, I really have not been doing any sewing. Um, I just, you know, sometimes I, I've had migraines for the last three days. And I just, you know, my head has just been killing me. Today it's been okay. Um, and I think it's all up here. But you know. So I really haven't been doing anything. Um, I just really haven't been doing anything. Really. I was going, which I did, you know, I made this chair pin cushion. But I'm going to do it over and um, I've got the stuff to do it. And I've got these cut out. And I tore the green part off. And you just really have to work with it, you know, to get it off of there. But I did. And um, it's you just got to work with it. Uh, this went off pretty well without ripping it. And it's these here. But I got these. And uh, I seen, Pam, I seen your video. And I thought that was so cute with the spoil, the spools. And, you know, um, I really like that idea. And, and those little sewing kits that I got. I got these little bitty sewing spools, and I thought those would be cute. And I've got the big ones, too. So, that might be cute um, to put on there. And I wanted to do another one of those sewing machine pin cushions. And so, I have these little things, you know. So, I keep that stuff just for stuff like that. But, yeah. I thought that was really cute with the spools. You know, you could take somebody else's pattern and do it your way. You know, you don't have to do it the way they do it. You could do it your own way. Um, so, and then... Um, I found this pattern here I want to try for Christmas. I thought it was real cute. It's like a little wall hanging. And it's called a touch of rust. And if you can see it, this right here. And it's just taking a backing, like a piece of fabric, and then cutting little squares, putting a little button. Then you got here like a star. One's a Christmas tree. One's a heart. And you just make like a little wall hanging. And I thought that would be cute. You know, just to hang up on a wall. So, um, I printed it out. And I thought that would be cute when I can do it. Um, I printed out. Oh, Guys, let me tell you, this saves my life of reading measurements. And I print this out. I went on Pinterest and I printed this out. And this helps so good because I know what the half is, but like the three eighths, the seven eighths, and the five eighths. So I know what the half and the quarter inch is. And the three fourths, it's just the other ones, but this helps out. So I went and printed that out, it really helps. Um, I'm trying to think. 
Oh, she also, on that Pay It Forward, um, she, and I printed this out, she has a deal of a Christmas tree. And she does it with felt. And I'm thinking about doing one with fabric. And you take the heat and bond, and you can do, put the fabric on the felt with the heat and bond, and you iron it on. So I was going to try that maybe for Christmas and do that. And Pam, you know, this would be cute too to make little Christmas trees for the dollhouse. I'm sorry, but I have not had time to do my doll or make a deal. I just not had time. You know, um, my life is just full of courageous crap. But anyways, um, but this would be cute. This would be cute. You just take your felt, um, take your heat and bond, iron it onto your fabric, and then iron it onto the felt. That would be cute too. Is a Christmas tree, but she does it all straight felt, but I thought that would be cute. And then she has another pattern on there, and I don't know if you've seen it, but it says, let's go fly a kite. This would be darling. Um, I printed it out the pattern. I have not. I need to watch a video how she makes it. But I thought these would be cute in kids print. Now Pat, I mean Pound. Sorry. Um, this would be cute also, and you can put these in your dolls, and it's like they're going to fly a kite. Maybe you can stick it up on a wall, put the string in their hand like they're flying the kite. But go print that pattern out because um, I'm going to see how she makes it. And I thought that would be really pretty. And also, she has a deal right here to make a bow to go on the kite. So, yeah, uh, check that out. That would be something. So, anyways, um, I'll let this video get too long. And... Um, I don't know. I might sew a little bit or whatever, but I'm going to see how she makes that cot pattern because I want to try and see if I can um, do it and see what it does. But anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Um, hopefully, I could do another video soon. So, I will talk to y'all later. Please like and subscribe and leave comments below. Y'all have a late happy Easter. I hope your Easter was good. Um, mine was stay safe and, um, y'all get to sewing something. All right. Bye-bye.